Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. We hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Now we are officially in Christmas mode. We got our Christmas tree up, so I hope you guys are doing your decorating and getting ready for Christmas. Today, we are kind of going to start that Christmas mode with what better way than salad? Yes, okay, today, sorry. Today, my helper, Scarlett, is with me. She's going to be a big help. So back to salad and Christmas. I know I was always brought up with treats and cookies and fudge around this time of year. So I'm gonna start it off healthy first. And we are going to be doing, we're making two kale salads out of my cookbook, Feast as a Family. Yeah. And this, actually I chose salad because, I mean, it, it, with the holidays coming, we're going here, we're going there. Sometimes we eat a little bit different than what we usually do. Mm -hmm. So I chose these two salads because this is a great way to make sure you're getting your greens in. And if you're going to people's houses, having a potluck or just going for dinner, this is a super easy recipe that you can bring with you and you'll know that at least you have something green on your plate that is not colored with food coloring. So, we're going to get started. We're first going to start with my lemon kale parmesan salad. Super easy, super quick. Um, I've already got my kale chopped up and washed in a big bowl. And so what we're going to do is, Scarlett, where are you going? You can have some of that when we get to that salad. Okay, so we are going to add a lemon, so I'm going to squeeze a lemon. Okay, put it in there. Flip it over. No, you gotta flip it over. I love my lemon juicer and lime juicer. Watch your bottom hand. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, so we've got the lemon. Just get it in a separate, just a separate bowl, just so you can mix all the ingredients first, and then you can add it to your kale. And next we're going to add some Parmesan cheese grated. It says finely, like this isn't really finely grated, but you can have whatever cut you want. Yes, I can. And then, that was close. So I have smoked paprika. I suggest getting the smoked paprika, not just the plain paprika. This just gives it a little bit more flavor without adding too, uh, too many other spices. So just a couple teaspoons of that. And this is also great if you want to add like some grilled chicken on top of it. You can always, if you're going to a party and um, you can always put the chicken on the side, like in a side bowl, and that way people can just grab it and put it on there. It's not necessarily needed for it to taste great. So we're just going to mix the lemon and the paprika, and then we're gonna put some pine nuts in it. You can kind of taste it if you find that you want some salt or pepper. Definitely feel free to add some of that. You want to taste some pine nuts? Sure. I haven't had pine nuts in forever. I usually don't keep a ton of pine nuts. Did you like them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've mixed all that. Now I'm just going to mix it in with my kale and then make sure it's nice and mixed. 
It's a evening. And this is holiday-ish. It's green and red with the paprika. Couple more what? Cranberries? And a little bit. And feel free to add more to this. This could be a very just basic, simple dish, or you can add um, flaxseed, chia seeds, you can add cranberries, dried cranberries, or fresh cranberries, since now we're getting into the season with fresh cranberries. Pomegranate seeds is great in it, just to make it more festive. Uh, and feel free to add more lemon or, hi, you can add more lemon or more parmesan, just kind of depending on your preference. But this is a very good just base salad that can be dressed up and look really pretty at holiday tables. And then we can taste it. We can taste it. No, this isn't hasn't been known for one of their favorite, but it's good. You want to try? It? No. 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 It's good. The smoked paprika really does with the lemon. It gives it a good little kick. You are a hungry girl. Okay, so that is my lemon kale parmesan salad. So now we are going to move on. Okay, we're not going to have much of that. This next one is um, my really good friend who helped me with the cookbook, Dr. Tom. Many of you know him. This is one of his recipes that he contributed. It is the Magical Shredded Kale Salad. So, with this one... I'm not going to eat those. You're not going to eat those? Mm -mm. It calls for... We'll do all the topping and then we'll do the dressing. So, the topping is just one... A half to one Granny Smith apple. I didn't have any Granny Smith apples, but that's okay. You can use whatever apples you want. Uh, okay, no more though. That goes in the salad. And then some red onion. And just chop. Red onion is kind of up to you. I, I like red onion a little bit chunkier, but the rest of my family does not. So, and then the apple, you can just... Chop it into tiny pieces. Or oh, you can do whatever you want to do. That's right. You can do whatever you want to do. And um, you have a little oh, apron. We have our aprons on. Mm -hmm. We got our aprons on. Say, so, sometimes we get messy. Sometimes we get messy. And sometimes I write. It my hands on my mom by so yes sometimes you do wipe your hands on your mom. Okay, so this is a little bit more this calls for a little bit more kale than the other recipe. Probably ten more cups of kale. It makes a really big batch. I did not put and as much kale as I, I normally would. That you get my napkin. Your napkin? Yes. Your apron. Yes. Um, but this really does make up a bunch, so if you, if you want to just make it a little bit smaller, if it's just going to be a small company, or if you're just making it for yourself, I recommend. But this does last a good, probably, I'd say, a good week, already mixed up and everything. So I'm just cutting my red onion here and then we'll mix the red onion, dried cranberries, which it's very hard to find dried cranberries without added sugar. You just have to do a lot of digging, but it is out there. Yes, we, it is out there. It is. And we got a minute zone. Okay. 
Um, and my especially mommy has my miniature. How many are? Apron. Apron. I went right then on her soul. That's right. I have to protect myself against you. Um, especially with the holidays coming up, we tend to go a little crazy with the added sugar. So anywhere that you can find that you can eliminate sugar, I highly recommend you do and you won't feel as sick after the holidays. So I've got my red onions, my apples and my dried cranberries I need to add fast or they're going to be all gone. Hey, now you're just wiping on my shirt. All right, so, and then the next thing will be goat cheese. This is what really makes it because we love goat cheese in our house. And it just makes it pretty. So we're just, I mean, with this, just crumble goat cheese on top. <laughs> or eat it. <laughs> if you're taking this to family or friends, don't skimp on the goat cheese. Just put a bunch in there. Every bite deserves a little bit of goat cheese in it. Okay, no more. Are you going to crumble it? Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this first and then we're going to add the dressing and then mix it again. My bowl is not really big enough, so this is going to be nice and messy. Yep. Nope. Because I might need it. I would recommend doing this in a much larger bowl. Maybe a stock pot that's a little deeper, so it's not spilling everywhere. Oh, come on, back up there. I have to rinse my hands off so you talk. Okay, so now we are moving on to the dressing. The dressing part is super easy. It is just balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Okay, let's see. Go get a towel. So it's basically a two to one with all two, two to one olive oil to um, balsamic vinegar. After we're done here. Okay. So I'm just going to give this a quick little. And this is not my minute. And then you can either wait and put it in right before you serve it, which I probably recommend doing. But um just so it doesn't get too wilted, but it really does last. I mean, I, I don't mind wilted kale, but it does last even with the dressing on it for several days. So I will be eating this all week. We will be having kale salads this week. Mm-hmm. What if we join the mac again? Uh-huh, we're mixing it again. And then we're going to put some more of uh, Goat cheese on it. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um, there's lots of goat cheese on this. But again, this is another salad that you can pretty it up with um, hemp, hemp seeds, more cranberries. You can you can put chopped nuts in it too. Oh, that's what actually it does call for chopped nuts. It calls for pecans. Um, which that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some pecans in there. Okay. 
And you can chop your pecans. Um, I did already buy them a little bit chopped, but pecans just scream holidays for me. Pecans and cranberries. Okay, so that is our other kale salad. Pretty it up, put it up, serve it in a big bowl. And again, at least you know you've got some sort of greens on your plate. And it's super easy to put together. And most of these things I find that you probably already have in your kitchen. Um, pecans, red onions, goat cheese, you may have to go get, I don't know, we always have goat cheese in our, in our fridge. All right, now, very good. I mean, it's very basic, but it has a lot of flavors in it. And you can spice it up however you want. I'm so glad you guys joined us. Do you want to say something, Scarlett? You want to come up here and say something? And we hope you have a great week. I'm going to try and be on here next Wednesday, or next Monday. Um, with the holidays coming, I'll, I'll probably make a fudge or some sort of cookie so you guys can see some alternatives and how to make your favorite holiday treat a little bit healthier so you're not overloading your body and causing more inflammation. As always, we love having you guys joining us and we hope you have a wonderful week. What do you want to say? I hope you have a great week. Have a great week.